we all know about the, uh, the psychopath's enhanced killer instinct, their, uh, their finely tuned vulnerability antennae, but uh, it may uh, surprise you to know that there are some situations in which psychopaths are actually more adept at saving lives uh, than they are at taking them. So let me give you uh, an example of what I mean by that, okay? Imagine you've got a train and it's hurtling down a track. In its path, five people are trapped on the line and cannot escape. Fortunately, you can flick a switch which diverts the train down a fork in that track away from those five people, but at a price. There is another person trapped down that fork and the train will kill them instead. Question, should you flick the switch? Now, most people uh, have little trouble deciding what to do under those circumstances. Uh, though the, the thought of flicking the switch isn't exactly a nice one, uh, the utilitarian choice, as it were, killing just the one person instead of the five, represents the least worst option. Okay? But now let me give you uh, a variation. You've got a train speeding out of control down a track, um, and it's going to plough into five people on the line. But this time you are standing behind a very large stranger on a footbridge above that track. The only way to save the people is to heave the stranger over. He will fall to a certain death, but his considerable bulk will block the train, saving five lives. Now we've got what we might call a real dilemma on our hands, okay? While the score in lives is precisely the same as in the first scenario, five to one, one's choice of action appears far trickier. Now, why should that be? Well, the reason it turns out all boils down to temperature, okay? Case one represents what we might call an impersonal dilemma. It involves those areas of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, the posterior parietal cortex, in particular, uh, the anterior parasingulate cortex, the temporal pole, and the superior temporal sulcus, bit of neuroanatomy for you there, uh, primarily responsible uh, for what we call cold empathy for reasoning and rational thought. Case two, on the other hand, represents what we might call uh, a personal dilemma. Uh, it involves the emotion center of the brain, known as the amygdala, uh, the circuitry of hot empathy, um, what we might call the feeling of feeling what another person is feeling. <laughs>